Hey everybody, this is Paul with ProShop. I want to talk to you about shop floor computers or shop floor devices. So ProShop is essentially a paperless system. It can replace the actual physical paper job traveler, all of your setup documents, photos, you know, uh, sheets, prints out, printouts from your cam system. All of that can be embedded right into ProShop. So you can access it digitally. You can never lose it and you always have access to the latest version. But it's important to understand what's the best type of device to access that information from. So um, on my screen here, we have a PDF file that we have made and we send out to companies and prospects that are looking for ideas uh, for what to do on the shop floor. Um, <clears throat> the most important thing to take away is that the device should be appropriate for whatever is happening at that workstation. <clears throat> now, depending on what uh, you are using ProShop for, uh, it can be used strictly for, you know, tracking time and signing off how many parts have been made. That's a much less active uh, use of ProShop. Because ProShop can embed all the work instructions, can actually perform all the inspection, first articles and in-process inspection, um, that's a more intensive use of ProShop. And so if you're actually typing in dimensions um, or adding notes to a page, adding photos, if you're documenting what the setup looks like, we might want to have a different kind of device. So here's an example here. Uh, this is actually from a customer um, who tends to like these Chrome devices. Um, we can see they have a pretty good size monitor because they pull up their drawings to look in on the monitor rather than having a piece of paper. Uh, so they can zoom in and see those details really well. You know, a good monitor these days is, uh, is 100 bucks. Uh, keyboard mount, uh, monitor mount, uh, the Chrome bit device itself, um, and a keyboard and mouse setup, you know, wired or wireless you know, less than 400 bucks for sure. Um, we can see devices that are even less expensive than that. Uh, Raspberry Pis or Odroids are, are, are a popular option. And those can be really inexpensive, you know, less than $250 for the whole setup. Um, uh, small Windows computers, uh, the, we like these, these Mini X devices. Uh, a little more expensive for sure, but it's a full Windows, uh, Windows professional uh, operating system. One of the important details about these, these devices is that they're all solid state. They don't have any fans, uh, so you can enclose them, you can wrap them up, uh, make sure that they don't get, you know, suck in that dirty, oily shop air. The keyboards and mice, they're going to get messed up. Um, you can buy super durable ones for very expensive uh, prices, but, you know, we honestly recommend, you know, a $20 combo set. If they last a year or less, just recycle them and get some new ones. Um, you know, you could spend 10 times that on a really durable waterproof keyboard and mouse setup, but uh, still gonna get pretty gunky over time. Um, so those Chrome devices, uh, like I said, are a great option. One, one limitation to a Chrome device is it doesn't have the ability to, to access the file network through a file browser window. Uh, that is possible, of course, through Windows, and it's definitely also possible through a Linux device. And because ProShop creates file folders and manages files in those folders, if you need to access something other than images or PDF files, like you want to access your G code files or, you know, maybe even your cam program, then you're going to want a device, of course, that can run those applications uh, and explore those file networks, which would include a Windows or a Linux device. I want to show you just a few other snapshots, pictures of, of things that customers have sent us. Here's a pretty slick setup. Um, probably a little more expensive on the mount itself, but a nice big monitor and then a keyboard and mouse setup right mounted off the off the controller. That's pretty slick. Uh, here's the back side of that where the device is mounted right behind the actual machine controller itself. <clears throat> here's just a very simple laptop. This is from a customer in Australia. Um, you know, just there at an assembly workbench or an inspection area. Pretty basic and obviously mobile. This was a setup from a customer in uh, Louisiana. Um, this is actually two different lathes on either side of this bench uh, with pe different people operating them. And because ProShop is going to be used by each person individually to get their setup notes, get do their inspections, uh, they, they, they want to have individual devices for each of those, those machines. Here's a, a typical mount setup uh, just off this brother machine. You can see this is running the Chrome OS as well. Uh, there's the same picture from you saw earlier, just right next to the controller. I happen to know this one here. Um, 
Well, this one looks like it is mounted into the machine. So they actually drilled into their machine, uh, which some companies may not want to do. There's the device itself. Nice little cable wrap, keeping things tidy. Um, but this one here, this is actually attached with magnets. So they made a plate here and put some neodymium magnets mounted into the plate. So this whole device is not drilled into the machine. It's just it's just stuck on with magnets, so pretty awesome. And then there's the actual Chrome device itself, just right there, zip tied to the monitor mount. Uh, here's another example mounted onto the wall. Um, this is a double monitor setup. This one's pretty cool. Um, so a lot of our customers are now moving to double monitors and going vertically because so it doesn't take up as much horizontal space. So they can have ProShop up on one screen, have their drawing with the balloon tags up on the other, or two different ProShop screens up. Um, that works well too. Uh, here's a shop from Oklahoma uh, where they have one of our ProShop kiosks. We actually made these ourselves, and it's mounted here just right next to the workbench next to this lathe. Uh, this is creative. This is a company running ProShop on this on the controller of their cell system. So there's a ProShop work order right there, and they just pull it up uh, and run it right from, from the controller. A couple of other pictures from another shop that sent us that. Here's just a basic uh, picture of these kiosks that we make. These are just um, tubular uh, attachments made by um, Creaform or one of those types of tubing, sort of an erector set with a sheet metal tray and a little keyboard um, mount and monitor mount underneath. Uh, here's another setup. This is from a pretty new customer. They said this is pretty sturdy. They like this. This is running a, um, a Linux device. There's the device itself. It's actually a Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, they said it works quite well. You can tell it's not a full Windows PC. It's a little bit slower, but for what they're doing, it works just great. And we can also use very small devices in some places. Here's just an example of a very small tablet that's mounted right next to a tooling area for checking out uh, end mills and drills. So um, that can be an effective use as well. Again, right sizing the device for, for what you're doing at that area. This company got creative. They bought these uh, old wheeled stands. It looks like a medical cart stand, um, but it's on wheels and they can just move it around the shop. They're not using some of the, the <laughs> controls on here, but, but this thing works. Uh, here's a nice little clean setup keyboard and mouse here on the bench with this mounted up high. There's the device itself. And then they can even mount the keyboard up on there where they want to get that out of the way. Here's another wheeled cart, just a basic basic uh, office type cart, but on wheels. And then of course you can use a tablet, laptop, anywhere that you need to at any time. Uh, another shop in Portland area with a single monitor mount just off the workbench. And in, there's another example of it with a keyboard and mouse right below. So nice and tidy there. Um, there's an office setup. Always want to go with double monitors in the office for sure. Um, and then I love this one. This is a uh, the air kiosk, we got, we got call it. So guys checking out ProShop from the airplane while he's on a flight, uh, looking at jobs and checking out things with his beer. So anyway, hopefully that's useful. Um, Really, ProShop, any, any kind of device that uses a browser uh, can access ProShop, uh, but sometimes you really do want a, a keyboard for, for typing in notes, putting in inspection values, and that sort of thing. Let us know if you have any questions, and I look forward to talking with you more. Thanks.